start with an opening statement from Coach Hefner, and then we'll open to questions for Cole Reeves and Bryce Ball. Coach? Well, first I'd say I'm incredibly proud of this team that we had this year. Um, you know, the amount of turnover we had, and for them to, to once again win a conference championship, go to regional, um, make it this far in the regional, couldn't be more proud of them and the seniors we had on the team. Um, as for this last game, I thought it was, obviously it was a, a really good game, really well pitched game. Um, you know, take away the first inning, and there were zeros across the board all the way. I thought Cole Reeves um, did an outstanding job for us. He's a freshman that we have high expectations for in the future, and I think um, he proved to himself just how good he can be, and, and we have, um, I know there's going to be really big things to come for, for him next year and the year after that. Um, you know, tip your cap to Texas Tech, outstanding team, you know, national seed, won the Big 12 Conference outright. Um, you can obviously see why, very balanced. Uh, they pitched it really, really well tonight. Um, you know, Bryce Bonin was outstanding and, and McMillan as well at the end. So um, obviously they've got a team that can, that can get back to Omaha again. And, um, you know, just want to congratulate them on another regional championship. Bryce, I guess uh, in terms of what Bonin was able to do, I guess what, what was he able to do? Was it really pounding the strike zone, or I guess what was he doing to kind of kind of get you all off kilter there? Yeah. Um, yeah, first, congratulations to Texas Tech. Um, yeah, he was he's bringing it tonight, and um, I think he was really, really good. Um, in tough situations, he almost got better. Um, yeah, I mean, he was throwing everything for strikes and good velocity, um, good stuff to go with it. So. Um, we really couldn't string anything together, but yeah. Can you speak to that seventh inning where you guys had two runners in scoring position? It seemed like you guys were kind of getting to him. He was able to kind of pull that out there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I mean, it seemed like when he got in tough situations, he uh, executed his pitches, and um, yeah, he threw really well tonight, and he executed well. So, I mean, tip of the cap to him. Cole, I guess for you, what was the message to you today, and I guess how do you feel you performed? <laughs> I mean, coming into that situation, um, it was definitely it was a cool one. Uh, definitely something that was a little nerve wracking at first, but after the first inning, I kind of settled in. Um, yeah, I mean, just kind of had to zone it out. Any more questions for the student athletes? Coach, it just seems like uh, Cam was a thorn on the side, your side, <laughs> the whole regional. Uh, can you take us through that at bat and, I guess, pre or following at bats where you decide to in intentionally walk him? Yeah, he's a he's a really good hitter. He's tough. He's he makes adjustments. His bats in the zone for a long time. He has good timing. Uh, we tried multiple different things against him, thinking, you know, okay, here's a way we can get him out, and kind of whatever we tried, he was he was thinking right with us. Um, so yeah, you know, we got to the point where you got a base open, you just got to put him on. Um, but yeah, he's really tough, and he's got Young right in front of him. So there's there's usually guys on base for him as well. And and, and there's you know times where we could not pitch around him, and you had to pitch to him. Um, and and if you miss, he does not miss. So he's good. Coach has Bryce's, but I guess what what did you see from that seventh inning? Obviously, you guys were trying to stra uh, trying to scratch a few across there, but weren't able to do it. Yeah, that was our one opportunity in the game. Bryce was really, really good all game long. Um, I've, he's got great stuff, and I know you know that's been his reputation is great stuff. Um, also has a reputation for not being in the zone all the time, and that was not the case today. I mean, he was just pounding it, and um, you know there were times where we tried to take and see if we could get his pitch count up a little bit, and he just would start us off strike one, and it was fastball for a strike, it was slider for a strike, so um, we were having a tough time with him, and. And you know, really, just tip your cap to him. He was he was good. And then in the seventh, like you said, we did have second and third with two outs. And I thought Blaine had a, you know, really battled him. You know, made him throw seven eight pitches and um, just wasn't able to get the knock when you needed it. And that's kind of what it comes down to. Any more questions for Coach Heepner?
We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Tadlock. Uh, I guess first, congratulations to Dallas Baptist, their university, uh, Coach Hefner, their staff, their team. Uh, had a great year, had a great team. Uh, you know, their their kids really battled today. Uh, you know, they had a, had a good game earlier, and I uh, thought Reeves threw the ball really well, pitched out of a big jam there. Uh, you know, and I don't know about you guys, I, I have a lot of fun watching these guys. Our, our group's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, offensively, defensively, um, really in every phase of the game, I just they, they never cease to amaze me. Um, how, how fun they are to watch. I'm not saying it's always perfect. Baseball's not perfect, um, but you know you, you you run out there in game three, uh, real stuff, and then uh, obviously you know your starters right there. He Bryce really threw the ball well. Really proud of him. And then obviously John, uh, I don't how many I don't know if you'll ever see that again other than while he's here. I mean he's just that's a special arm. Open for questions to the student athletes. Bryce, how important was it for you to get uh, the first pitch strikes today just in terms of confidence and just kind of putting them kind of behind the behind the eight ball? I mean that's always kind of the goal. I mean it's easier to pitch to a guy when you get the first one. Um, Gardner called a, gr a great game. Brax caught a great game. Made it really easy. Um, offense put up runs. So I was, you know, pitching with a cushion. You know, the entire time I was out there and made it really easy. It was really comfortable and had a lot of fun. So. You know, I asked you earlier in the season. Obviously, your first start wasn't one that you wanted to remember. What 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 was this like? Um, you know, it was, you know, this whole season it's just been getting better every week. Uh, you know, these coaches have had a plan with you know how they deal with us as a team and individually, and I feel like they've really helped me develop. You know, I've been able to throw more strikes, been able to, you know, get quick innings. And, you know, obviously I've got, you know, a great defense behind me. It just makes it really easy. So. Can you just speak to what you've been able to do just in terms of just the three home runs, not only that, but just in clutch moments? Uh, just, I mean, I don't think all my home runs were someone on base, so they've all got on base. And that gave me a chance to come up to the plate. Uh, Carlos mentioned it, but from that first game until now, it, was it kind of special to go out there, not just you being out there, but to have Easton with you kind of in that start? Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> we've been through a lot, you know, this past year, but, you know, uh, you know, God had, a plan, God had a plan before we did, you know, and I'm glad that everything's, you know, worked out so far here, and we, you know, we both love it here. Couldn't ask for a better coaching staff, a, a group of players to come to work with every day, and, you know, it's been a blast, so. Josh, if they if they did a revote of Big Twelve Player of the Year, do you think the uh, co-player of the year would be sitting to you? I think he'd just be the Player of the Year. Uh, he's had one heck of a year, and this weekend you you see it every game. He's hitting home run to put us ahead. Um, I don't know. We we always mess him all the time, saying that he just rakes, and he's the best hitter in the country. So, you know, <laughs> hitting that home run Going when he sports. came across home plate when he came across home plate. That's all we were saying, and you know, it's just a lot of fun. Um, having guys in our lineup that can go up there and get the job done, um, and then our, when our pitchers go up there and just shove like they did today, it, it's so much fun. Cam, Coach Heefner had mentioned the fact that you, you had a long swing through, you know, making contact all weekend long. Can you take us through that at bat? It kind of looked Adrian Beltre-esque with your knee almost on the ground. I was just talking to Josh about the picture I saw on Twitter. I didn't even realize that was down that low until I saw the picture, but 3-1, um, I was just hoping I got a fastball, and I didn't want to be late. Uh, Bryce, and back here. So ever since you were you know, becoming that, that third starter about a, a little while ago, in these last like, five games or so that you've pitched, just everything, um, obviously numbers better in uh, that span. What about the game has gotten easier for you on the mound? Um, you know, really just throwing strikes. I feel like that's always been my biggest downfall. And, you know, I've just <clears throat> put all my trust into these coaches and, you know, uh, Braxton behind the plate and just, you know, know that every game we go in with a plan and just to execute it, not to do too much, trust your stuff. I mean, st things like that. But uh, no, I couldn't be more thankful for the people that I have behind me that have helped me develop and get here. And, uh, you know, still getting better every week. Still not still not done, still not satisfied. Got to keep working, keep getting better. And uh, for Josh and Cam, I guess, Josh, we can start with you. This team, how does this team kind of compare to others that have also made uh, postseason runs? 
clutch home runs. <laughs> Honestly, uh, last year Reams was the guy that stepped up, and this year we got this guy over here. He's just been hitting clutch homers for us all year. Um, but really, it's a it's a whole team. One through nine, the lineup's going to come up there and attack you. And and one, one thing I want to speak to is just our defense. Um, we're playing lockdown D right now, and and it's a lot of fun to play defense when your pitchers go up there and are and are pounding the zone like Bryce did tonight. Like it's a lot a lot of fun to play back there when it's 0-1, 0-2 all the time. You know, bounce around, lots of high energy, uh, and then just the energy in the ballpark tonight. That's just fun to play in front of. Other groups that have also been in the postseason and have uh, made runs as well. Well, it starts with uh, the pitching. I mean, they only gave up, I think, four runs in three games. That's unbelievable. It's tough to lose when that happens. And starting with Bryce tonight, it was un unbelievable to watch him. And then John come in and finish it off. Everybody was looking at the board. So, <laughs> for any of the three players or all three of you, as you've gone down this great stretch near the end of the season or regular season and conference tournament, how much is the confidence level building up in this team right now? I think the confidence is very high, uh, especially when our pitching staff goes out there like that and just has a great weekend. I mean, we we used, what, like two guys really out of the pen, and then we had two other guys come out and throw one inning apiece. Um, so we didn't even get to use everybody on the team. Uh, so that, I, that just speaks them out to our starting pitching going out there and throwing the ball really well. So we're really <laughs> confident. <laughs> See, it's a unique situation, but tomorrow's MLB draft. I guess just what are your thoughts just kind of going into that situation? Uh, honestly, I haven't thought about it. Uh, I've been so focused on this. And, uh, you know, we got seven more games to bring a title back to Lubbock, and uh, that's really my only my only thoughts. So I guess uh, kind of as a kid growing up, I guess what, what what's that like to be able to even kind of hear your name amongst those type of, type of things? You know, everyone grows up wanting to be a Major League Baseball player. Um, so getting that opportunity to be awesome. But... Uh, I guess hearing my name tomorrow will just be, you know, one of those things I got to be happy about. But it's, it's like Bryce said, we're not satisfied yet here, so uh, I'm not going to let that be a distraction. Um, so we're just going to go get seven more. Bryce, I guess what's it been like playing with Josh? Um, <clears throat> obviously, he's a tremendous player. He makes hard plays look routine. I mean, I sit on the mound, I laugh every time he makes a play, like the ones that he made tonight. But uh, now both these guys sitting right here, they're great leaders. Uh, you couldn't ask for better upperclassmen to help lead a team. And, you know, uh, we're going to miss both of them next year. But right now, we still got seven games to win. So that's that's our main focus. And we're going to keep working toward that. Cameron, I know everyone's talking about the seven games. But I guess what's it been like to just play so many games with Josh and then just with the, the switch he's made from third to shortstop <clears throat> and kind of shoring you guys up on defense? Oh, you could probably put him anywhere on the field. I mean, obviously, I mean, like, I mean, like you said, he's going to go tomorrow in the draft. Really high, and he's a great player, and it's wherever I mean, he can hit, he can do it all. He can't run, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still faster than you, though. <laughs> can't even slow it. Any more questions for the student athletes? Thank you, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> questions for Coach Tadlock? Coach, I, I know Micah made his first start, had a really good performance. I guess, how do you feel about Bryce and his first uh, regional appearance? Yeah, well, Bryce pitched in Omaha last year. So he's had some experience in big games. Uh, probably the neatest thing is just watching him develop over the last, since February or really throughout the whole year. Um, he, was in, he was in command today from pitch one. Uh, probably could have ran him back out there if you wanted to. Uh, we tend to try to do what's best for them in those situations, not necessarily what's best for, you know, like you're going, hey, he's, he could probably finish the game. Uh, but you got a real special arm down there in the bullpen. And um, so, I mean, he's, he's, uh, I mean, your, your question's got good merit to it because he has developed. Matt's done a really good job with him. Uh, Jay Bob's done a really good job with him. Those guys, uh, and he he believes in them. About his mound presence, even though it was a third of an inning in that first start. What did you think of him in that seventh inning, where obviously things could have turned a little bit different, but he was able to kind of just keep his heart rate down. Um, yeah, I mean he really made some really. I mean the uh, Jones kid had a really extended at bat, 
Uh, I would say it was at least eight pitches. It's a good battle. And um, really felt good about really leaving him no matter what happened at that point uh, based on how he was throwing the ball and stuff. So I uh, was really glad to see him execute the last pitch. So I know I asked the other guys, but I guess what's it been like to coach Josh? And I guess what's it like to – I know it's a unique situation, but just to potentially hear a, a first-round pick tomorrow. I tell you, I mean, it's um, it's a lot of fun watching these guys each day. Um, you know, they, uh, they love to prepare. Um, Josh loves to hit, loves to play baseball, loves to work at it, as does the rest of our team. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy that, you know, coming out of high school, out of San Antonio, since we're talking about the draft, probably turned down, you know, the fourth round and pretty much said, hey, no, I'm going to Texas Tech. And um, I don't make you get a drink. You know, I mean, at that point, what you what really probably hits me is, you know, they believed in us, and uh, you know, there's not a lot of guys that have the guts in the fourth round when their dream their whole life's been to play baseball for a living. You go, hey, I'm going to school. But the ones that do are special. That's what that's what I would tell you. Building off that, I mean, you have to coach guys all the time that are playing in really big games when the MLB draft is right around the corner and when their names are called. Not how tomorrow. Do you, how do you uh, make sure that they, you know, what, what's a good like middle ground there for them to stay focused and not stay like preoccupied? We we that? we there's there's all kinds of distractions. The draft might be the smallest one for these guys. At this point, you you. The, the more you win, the more you go along this path, the more distractions come. Sometimes it's just simple things, weather, scheduling change, you name it. So uh, these guys are pretty good about taking things in stride and, and know that they're going to have some adversity along the way. And the draft, you know, as far as that goes, it's probably a blessing. We're not playing tomorrow. That's, you know, that's you, we've all seen that. That's really hard. Um, but you know this team's committed to, to playing for their for their teammates, and they know all that's going on. But they know this is you know a great opportunity in front of them. And, uh, you're starting pitching this weekend. I mean, you got like 19 innings from your starting pitchers, and combined from all three of those guys, only gave up two earned runs. When you look back at this series, was that kind of what anchored you guys to help you uh, get this series win? You know, with that being said, I probably ought to take Jay, Bob, and Matt to dinner. You know, those guys probably need a steak or two. Um, those guys do phenomenal. I mean, it, it really, it's, uh, you know, they, they commanded the fastball. You know, you're talking about three guys with wipeout breaking pitches. They've all got a, you know, a change up. Uh, just really, it's, you know, special to, special to watch those guys. I mean, it's. I might have the best seat in the house, but there's a lot of good ones. I mean, you, I just told Cam and Josh out here, I mean, you might, or told Goot somebody, I don't remember who, but I mean, it told y'all. You might not see what John McMillan's doing. I mean, it, if you think you're going to see 100 on that board, you might come become this ballpark another 40 years and not see it. I mean, that's that's really special, and he's his rhythm and timing's gotten better. And he's got a lot of confidence. How do you compare the depth of this pitching staff, both starting and bullpen, to some of the staffs you've had in the past? Oh, God, here we go. Um, I had a really good one at Grayson County. I mean, Garrett Mock was really good. Had some guys that were really good. I uh, had one in Norman that Chase Anderson and Garrett Richards were coming out of the bullpen. Those guys were pretty good. So we've had good staffs before. Uh, at the same time, this staff's throwing the ball really well at the right time. So, you know, give, give a little kudos to those guys. I could probably rattle off some more names, but there's no reason to compare them. What really right now, what you're seeing, you need to, we all need to appreciate it. And it's, it's pretty special.
along those lines, Tim, do you think you would have gone into this regional and only pitched seven guys? Oh, I, I mean, I don't know if I really, you really think about it. You, you do what, you know, the game's telling you to do. And if we had to pitch 12, I guess we would have pitched 12. It, it's neat that we did at the same time. The guys that didn't, we got to get them some work now. So you're talking about some guys will be getting some simulated at bats probably sometime tomorrow to give them a normal, you know, some normal rest and be able to throw a side in there before Friday. and probably most of the Big 12. How special has he been this year as, as he's grown in the program? Oh, wow. I'm telling you, he's I – mean, I had a guy I played with text me last night, and he, he was like, hey, he might be the best home run hitter. And this guy could hit. And I'm like, come on, dog. Like, what are we talking about here? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know about that. There's been some really good hitters roll through here. But he's special. I mean, uh, the neat thing is nowadays is – the analytics behind everything proves it. I mean, his his on base percentage, his, you know, everything that you talk about, you know, his slugging percentage. Um, you know, he drives in runs. He, you know, he he does what a lot of good hitters do. I mean, they take the straight one away from him. And then you you obviously saw what he did to the spinning one yesterday. I mean, he hit it in that tree. So pretty neat. Um, I'd start with a guy that could hit in the middle of an order. Start with a guy that's become a really good first baseman. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but in high school, Cam threw really hard. And so, he used to be a third baseman, believe it or not. And uh, he's athletic enough to play a corner in the outfield. Um, you know, he's, he's, uh, Anything he does from this point forward won't surprise any of us, I don't think. Uh, but really, what I touched on a minute ago is the numbers back up what he is. Th those numbers pretty much will tell those people. I, mean, I don't know if you know, I mean, front offices, they, there's a lot of people in there looking at numbers. And his, his pretty much back up what, what he does. And on top of that, I mean, look at the play Josh made there up the middle on uh, Isaacson, really good runner. Cam makes it look pretty easy. I mean, kind of made it look like, look like Goot was over there, Hargrove. I mean, they, he's gotten to where he's, he's uh, you know, so it's a long answer, huh? And I mean, I, I think they know we love him. I mean, you know, he, he's, it's a neat deal. Coach, you guys did the Matador song. Everybody went to the locker room, business as usual. It, does this get old for you guys? I mean, I know there's an ultimate goal. You want to get back to Omaha, but to breeze through this, it seems like the way you guys did. Is, is it old? Does it get old? Well, I wouldn't say breeze through it. I mean, we had a one-run game yesterday and scored three today. And, I mean, you, when you stop, step back and look at it, you, you, there's still things you can work on to improve on and uh, get better each day and uh, try to, you know, find that rhythm and timing. But we don't take it for granted the position we're in. Uh, these guys know what's in front of them. Um, you know, we 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 want them to enjoy the wins at the same time when they wake up in the morning. Want to be ready to go. Uh, Coach, what kind of went into the decision to uh, bring in Noisy again? Uh, was it just pretty much asking him if he was good to go or not? Well, I wish it was that easy. If it was that easy, he'd have just played probably yesterday. Um, he he did rehab at 11. Um, he ran with Tory and Brian right after we stretched, so two and a half hours before game. Uh, they both felt like he was pushing off really good. Didn't feel like he's 100%, but felt like he could at least play left. And we went into it, and... Um, I talked, we talked to him. I said, man, if you play, we'd really like to just leave everybody in their spot. Really, as a result of not taking batting practice on the field, if you had the luxury of taking BP on the field, you could run Kurt to right and Dylan to left or whatever combination you want to do, Gabe, uh, Kurt to center, however you want to do it. And Without the preparation of batting practice and seeing balls off the bat, we just felt like, 
um, the reeds would be better at their normal spots. And you might ball might land with Dylan out there because he's 80 percent, 90 percent, whatever he is, but it wasn't going to land in the other two. And so you could have you could have had that if you go to moving everybody. And there was a play where Kurt called off Josh, and I, and I actually thought of it at that time. I was like, you know, there's one where if you got a guy nursing a hammy, you might want Josh to call it. So I like batting practice for games, by the way. It helps, especially when a guy's nursing a hammy. <clears throat> Okay, thanks.